Welcome to this episode of Veramit TV. I'm going to answer the questions that you asked on Instagram. Here we go. The most challenging thing I face today as a designer of my company is finding great talent to work with me in my stores and in my studio. Um, a great resource I feel like is my Instagram page. I often will put, anytime I'm looking for someone um, to work at Veramit, I'll put an ad out and that's how we get a lot of our best candidates. The way you get the best of both East and West Coast chic is you visit the East Coast and you visit the West Coast. There's nothing like walking around, looking at shops, you know, actually seeing what people are wearing. Um, I love going to LA during the winter time because it's freezing in New York and there's just nothing nicer than being in LA and being warm. Um, and in New York, I mean, there's so much magic in the streets, it's just a super good idea to walk around on your day off just like you know, check out the new shops in every neighborhood that you like and you'll always find something new. I love dog breeds, uh, mostly because I looked at a dog breed book and I couldn't believe how many there were that I didn't know. That's how I found Fred, my Affin Pincher. I was so in love with how they look like little Ewoks and they were so beautiful. So I recommend for anyone to look up different dog breeds and to see if you connect with a certain dog breed that you may not be aware of. As an American designer from Eastern Europe, my aesthetic was influenced by the travel that I did with my family. My dad was a movie producer and we traveled to Finland, London, uh, Austria, many different countries. The nice thing about Europe is you can travel so easily, it's not that expensive, everything's nearby. It's like going to a different state in the US, except it's a different country with a different culture. You know, it's just, it's, it's really interesting. I love traveling and I think that's really influenced the way that I look at design aesthetic. The meaning of Veramit is the meteor side of jewelry. So it's more interesting subject matter and better material. All our chains are soldered and you know the metal is that color all the way through. It's not really plated. Um, it's it's uh, you know the meteor side. If I didn't design amazing jewelry, I would be a filmmaker. In fact, I'm making a film anyway. Um, if you check out the movie site saladaysmovie.com, you'll see the movie I'm working on. It's my first feature. Um, I was very inspired by Wes Anderson, who I actually just met recently, and he was so vibrant and uh, amazing in person. I just love filmmaking and filmmakers, so I'm excited to make my first film. My There's No Place I'd Rather Be spot is called the Noya Gallery. It's in New York on 86th Street and 5th Avenue. I walk through Central Park, I go to the Noya Gallery, I look around. They have Austrian art, Egon Schiele, who's my favorite artist. And I just drink this like beautiful, huge ice cream shake with uh, frosting that's not that sweet, because I love desserts that aren't that sweet. And um, I'll have maybe a trout crepe or uh, they have this like avocado salad that's amazing um, or the goulash and then walk around Central Park and just feel like a real New Yorker. The most spontaneous thing I've ever done is go to Iceland. Uh, one winter actually I went to Iceland for no reason really, I just wanted to go and I did and I got this beautiful um, feather dress there, this feather print that I wear all the time, it's really comfortable, and I ate whale, which um, has a really weird taste. It's like chalk, uh, fish, and beef all together. Um, it's really intense, you have to be ready for it. I do remember my dreams at night. I actually had recently a dream that was super, super, super intense. Um, it was like a hugely grand story that I'm actually thinking of writing into a novel because it was um, really, really beautiful and like super detailed. Um, the characters were all, uh, there were like five characters that were very 
detailed and the dream went on for like an hour or two so I have a lot of material. One secret about myself that I don't know if that's embarrassing or not is that I love telling people weird stuff about myself and um, I especially like talking about periods like uh, in front of men because uh, or women or anybody I feel like it's such a natural normal thing happens every month and people are so skeeved out by it but I really I love blood my grandmother was a surgeon and I have no problem with periods and um, I think it's so much fun to tell a man I have my period if um, you know I'm waiting in line or something I'm just like oh man I have my period sorry that's why I'm like hunched over like this and they're just like and uh, they quickly move out of the way and you get uh, in front of the line. It's a great little secret. One city I'd love to explore is Edinburgh, Scotland. The castles, the hills, I think I'm going to love it. I want to go this year or maybe next at the latest. The way I got so magical, thank you for saying that, is uh, just by studying and being proactive. I love TED Talks, I love NPR, I love WTF podcast and uh, listening to interviews, reading books. I've read, you know, hundreds and hundreds of books and I love audible.com, you know, listening to books when I'm in the car. Just educating yourself all the time is really the best thing you can do to become more interesting or magical. Thank you so much for visiting. Check us out on Instagram. That's Instagram Veramit, and we'll see you next time.